Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today as you can see we are in Sims 3 which is a bit different but I am very excited to bring you guys this video. So firstly I want to apologise because my voice still sounds a bit funny. Um, second, this video is going to be me rambling on about Sims 3 and The Sims 4 and if you just want to watch the build and don't want to hear my opinions on things then that's totally fine. Just mute the video and keep watching. Um, third, I this is probably the most important one. I don't want to offend anyone or insult anyone, especially not the creators of The Sims. You know, these are just my opinions on the game and I know that they work hard. I'm not saying they don't, but these are just my opinions. You know, I'm not saying they have to do everything that I say in this video that would be a bit outrageous, but these are just some things that I've noticed from going and playing every single Sims game and playing The Sims 4 and then going back and playing The Sims 3 after not playing it for years. So I have some good and some bad things about both games and yeah I just wanted to put that little disclaimer at the beginning because I know there's going to be someone out there who thinks that I know better than the creators or anything like I don't, I don't know how to make games. I have no idea. I don't even... I don't even know how where to start so yeah I know they work hard and I know they take our ideas and thoughts into consideration so that is just my little disclaimer. So my reason for playing The Sims 3 today is because City Living is coming out in a couple of days and as you probably know we can't build our own apartments and they've always been my favourite thing to build you know I would build little apartment buildings or semi detached houses and I just loved it I'd love seeing you know my neighbour sims on the same lot you know seeing them go to work and come home and all that stuff. So for us to not be able to make our own apartments in The Sims 4 to me it feels like they're sort of taking that away from us and because they're using those shells in the city which I agree with them they do look beautiful I feel like the city is pretty much just going to look exactly the same you know like every building will look the same obviously we can decorate within the apartments but you know from the world map you can't see that whereas if you're in you know one of the regular neighborhoods if you change a build if you put a pool down where there was a house you know you're gonna notice that and I don't want to sound too dramatic but I just feel like they're taking away some of our creativity and as I said before you know I don't know how to make games I don't know how to do coding but for me I'm kind of like well we had this in The Sims 2 and The Sims 3 so why can't we have it in The Sims 4 you know like I'm sure there is an explanation I just don't know why but these are just my thoughts you know I'm not trying to as I said before I'm not trying to offend anyone so moving on from apartments, as I said before I realised some positive and negative things about both games and I realised some things that I really miss from The Sims 3 and I realised some things that are improved upon in The Sims 4. One thing that I realised I missed from The Sims 3 was the creator style tool. Now I realised that would be really difficult to add to The Sims 4 especially at this point but I was thinking if you guys have played The Sims 2, if you know that creator style tool, basically it would be like having a bed, you would have a couple swatches for the bed frame and a couple swatches for the blanket and you can combine them in different ways so it just adds a lot more versatility to every object. I feel like that would be the perfect medium between what we have now in The Sims 4 and what we had in The Sims 3 and I just think it's quite weird that you know that's from The Sims 2 so I don't know, I don't know why they didn't do that in The Sims 4, like, it makes no sense. A lot of the swatches we have, you know, they don't end up matching, you know, dresses and beds and nightstands and stuff like that, you know, the wood might look a bit off or the tone of the white might be a bit wrong, you know, I just feel like it would make it a lot easier for us to mix and match furniture. Now onto some positive things about The Sims 4 because contrary to what you would have just heard, I do love The Sims 4. Um, I didn't realise how much easier they'd made it to build in The Sims 4 until I tried to build in The Sims 3, especially after not building in The Sims 3 for a few years. For example, things like foundations, you know, when you play The Sims 4 you can raise and lower them whenever you want, whereas in The Sims 3, you know, you would have to demolish your entire house just to, you know, move your foundation up a bit or down a bit. We also have much more freedom when it comes to things like move objects. You know, now we can raise and lower objects, we can size them up, 
whereas in The Sims 3 you couldn't and I know I use that stuff all the time in my gameplay but going back to The Sims 3 and not being able to do it, you know, I'd put a picture on a wall and I'd want to move it over just a little bit and I wasn't able to do that or I normally like to, you know, clutter up benches or put objects that don't normally fit on a shelf on a shelf and I can do that by raising them up but in The Sims 3 I couldn't do that. One thing that I don't miss from The Sims 3 though is the open world. Now that might surprise a lot of you but everyone remembers how bad The Sims 3 ran and it still doesn't run that great. It's still really laggy and it freezes and it crashes and I don't know. I play The Sims 4 on max graphics and I never have any problems, you know, it never lags. It takes a while to load sometimes but that's because I have CC and that makes total sense. And I don't mind the load screens at all. I would rather my game load a specific part of the world and run it very nicely rather than it loading the whole world at once and running it below average. The Sims community is quite special and I don't want to sound you know, really cheesy or anything but I feel like within the gaming community there's like a stereotype of you know the gender and age and you know whatnot of what people are within the community but the sims I feel like we have people of all ages and all genders and we just have so many different people but that also includes we have people who are really good with computers and we have people who have you know 10 year old computers I feel like the sims is one of the communities within the gaming world where you know you will be accepted no matter what so I think I'm going to end this commentary here. There's probably some things I've forgotten to mention, but if you'd ever like to hear my opinions on something, feel free to tweet me. My username is in the description below. Also, if you listen to this whole thing, you deserve a gold medal or something. Seriously, thank you. This was literally my first time building in The Sims 3 since I started playing again, so this is in no way like a super amazing apartment build. I just wanted to put it out for you guys, so yeah. I probably should have said that at the start, but let me know what you think and please give me some tips. I think I'd like to keep building in The Sims 3 so I definitely need some help from you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. Bye!